Hi, I'm Vianna, and I love to travel and I love to plein air paint. But sometimes it's not always practical to carry around all my plein air equipment with me when I'm on the go. And for that, I love to use a sketchbook. What is a sketchbook? Well, it's nothing more than a little book that an artist carries in order to um, make little drawings, paintings, write notes, um, get a record then of what it was that inspired them. There are several advantages to working in a sketchbook. For some reason, when I'm working in a sketchbook, I feel less invested in getting a good painting, and I'm more likely to experiment and play around. I also really rely on my sketchbook when I'm back in the studio. Those color notes in conjunction with my photographs can help me relive my plein air experience. So for that, I would like to make a special note then to the students of my upcoming landscape workshop in Italy. We will have several days where we will be doing full plein air painting, but we will also have days where we will be on the go. For instance, when we are um, touring the gardens in Florence, or visiting a vineyard for wine tasting, or strolling the streets of Siena. By using a sketchbook, you're going to be able to capture the character and the light of Italy, and that's going to help you to relive that experience, that, your photographs, and your paintings, once you're back in the studio. Now, let's take a look at what makes up a sketchbook and what an artist should use then for their sketch kit. Let's take a look at what makes up the components of a sketchbook. That's called a sketch kit. It can be as simple as a book with some pencils, watercolor pencils, and a water brush. Or, for painters, it can be as simple as a watercolor palette clipped to your moleskin book and a travel brush. But what I want to talk to you about today is a nice little sketching kit that I've come up with that fits neatly within my plain air bag here. Let's see what's inside. Here's what comes out of my plein air bag when I'm ready to sketch. I have a bag that has a water container and various binder clips. I have my board that's going to serve as my desk. I have a bag of paper towels. I have a bag that holds my watercolor palette. And of course, my trusty watercolor book. So let's take a look at the materials that I use to make the board, make the sketching kit. Basically, you need a board and stuff to stick stuff to the board with. Um, here, I made a brush holder out of felt and a handle out of felt and stuck it to the board using Gorilla Tape. On this side here, you can see that I have magnets that I glued on with silicone glue. I have a drill bit gauge, which I keep closed using Velcro. And I have more magnets underneath. And my board is made out of a corrugated plastic called Coraplast. And it is lightweight, and it is um, waterproof, and it is strong. You could also make it out of gator board or an old binder even. I also found a, um, a spice jar that I emptied out and attached magnets to both the top and the bottom, and those will serve as my water containers. So let's take a look at how this sketching kit goes together. First thing I'm going to do is remove this protective flat here that serves as a brush holder and also serves to expand the size of my sketching kit. Again, you can see my brush holder is made of felt and I have also added a nice little handle onto the back of my um, my board. That handle is made with felt and Gorilla Tape. Then I'm going to attach my book. I lay the book down flat 
and use a binder clip. Lay the book down flat and use a binder clip in order to attach it to the board. If it's a windy day out, I'll stick a little binder clip right on this side too. Next, I'm going to open up my brush holder here, but I'm doing that so that I can attach my water container. My water container is made of a spice jar with a magnet on either side. And this way then, I have two containers of water, so if one gets dirty, I can use one for clean water. Now, I also attach my watercolor palette using magnets. However, if you had a plastic, if you had a plastic um, watercolor palette, then you could use something like Velcro to attach it to the board. If you notice here, this little area that's bumped up from the thickness of that actually makes it so that my watercolor palette lays absolutely flat. I'm going to attach a piece of paper towel here on the side. And that's going to act as a blotter for my brushes. And last but not least then, I attach my brushes into this holder and I've actually marked these with little black dots that show me the size of the brushes that can go into the holes. And now I am ready to paint.